Hi, and welcome to another edition of All Politics is Local. I'm your host, John Featherston. On tonight's episode of All Politics is Local, we're going to remember a local, I don't want to call him a politician, uh, let's call him a public servant, David Teller unfortunately passed on August 14th of 2024. And our guest tonight, John Kerwin, had the honor and distinction of serving with Dave Teller, my words, a local legend on the Board of Selectmen for eight years. So welcome, John. Great to be here. Uh, it's, a, it's a bittersweet moment that you're here because we are going to remember our friend. And I think as Paul Bowden even said as we were setting up the cameras here tonight, uh, he was a lot of people's friends in the town of Ashland. That is true. David uh, gave his heart and soul to this town. Uh, whether you agree with him or disagree with him, there's one thing that was always, always for certain, that he had Ashland in his best interest in his heart. Yep. So let's talk a little bit about, like I said, you served eight years on with the Board of Selectmen. Uh, he was on the Board of Selectmen uh, for, what, a term before you were there? Yeah, he, was, he, he got on in 94. I got on in 98. Okay. And we served eight years together. So Dave served 12 years. Um, he got off in 06. I got off in 07. So Dave and I served, went, saw a lot of things, did a lot of things. Really towards the boom of Ashland. You guys were on the board. A lot of building. Yeah. So we did the library, the high school, the community center. Um, we did a lot of sewer work. Uh, Dave was involved in a lot of that. Dave was on the building committee for the middle school. The middle school was done in the, in the mid-90s. Dave was also on the building committee for the high school. And, um, you know, and he did a great job on, on those on those two committees. And, you know, he really was an asset to the town. Um, you know, Dave, if Dave used to investigate issues, he'd drive around town to see what things looked like and how they were going to look and, you know, what we could make of it. And he was very, very involved. He did a lot of work behind the scenes. And I think a lot of stuff he did was very underappreciated. But, um, you know, he was great to serve with. You know, I was a butt of a lot of his jokes. You know, he could come up with, a, anybody knows Dave, he can come up with a one-liner. Um, you know, and over time, you know, you know, when I was younger and, you know, didn't know him that well and I got to know him, we really became great friends. And uh, it, it was a sad day for, that uh, we lost him. He told me a story, uh, one of the many times I had breakfast with him at Sunnyside over the years. Uh, I guess evidently you had sat in a seat once and... Uh, oh, yeah. He, wasn't too keen to that? No. Well, Tell that story real quick. <laughs> well, what happened was they put the nameplates out. Back then they have nameplates. They have real nameplates. Now they do paper, <laughs> paper tents. So I don't get that. But anyway, uh, someone put the nameplates out. They put my nameplate in where he, his, was, his seat was. They put his nameplate somewhere else. And I was just trying to give him a hard time because he was always giving me a hard time. So I said, no, I'm not moving. No, I'm not moving. And he was having a bad day. So... So we we both left the meeting room and we had a discussion outside. It was the way you know. the way I remember. He tells me I think he grabbed you by your neck or something. No, well, no, no. <laughs> you know how the stories get. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah, know, yeah. Exaggerated over. They, they the got exaggerated. It was exaggerated. But uh, so were you guys on the board together when Town Hall got renovated? Then, we were. That was a very controversial time. Yeah, there was a lot of things going on with that. Um, they thought there were some people in town that thought that there was some selectmen had some various different motives uh, in their own interests. Which that, was ridiculous. Would, yeah, which yeah. was another ridiculous thing. But um, but at the time, you know, there was a question of, well, do we tear it down? Do we renovate it? What do we do? Uh, the town hall in its prior condition was in very sad shape. It was a glorified, I mean, even though from the outside it looked okay, from the inside it was like a glorified trailer. Uh -huh. You know, the creaky floors, very, very narrow hallways, the second floor was was basically storage with poles on the roof. It was it was a nightmare. And the reality was, that, you know, the town employees were all sh basically shoulder to shoulder trying to work, and it just wasn't a very very um, conducive atmosphere for a positive work environment. So now, you know, now it's we're at fifteen years. Actually, no, no, no almost twenty years later. Um, you know, the town hall to me, I mean, I go in, it still looks a little cramped. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. um, a lot more employees in there than when you and I. Yeah, a lot more employees, and you know, the, the meeting rooms have kind of shrunk a little bit. But uh, you know, Absolutely. that's what this generate. That's what the next generation's for. They need to. They'll come. They'll come to bat and figure that stuff out. But Dave was a very distinguished looking man, very, you know, good looking, friendly, you know, man. And the thing that always just struck me with him is. He was just always so nice to me and everybody else. Yeah, Dave, we used to call him, the, some people used to call him the GQ selectman. Uh, you know, always always very well dressed, hair, you know, perfect. nails manicured, perfect hair. Um, 
you know, everything. But, you know, but, you know, don't forget, this is a guy who cared a lot. Mm-hmm. And always, it and it showed. He, he, fought, he, he fought for his convictions. You know, um, you know, the funny thing is he did so much work for the schools in terms of the building committee and all that. His last year on the board of selectmen, he came out against an override. And rightfully so. And uh, there were a lot of things that the schools could, didn't know. I think the school superintendent of the town couldn't tell us how many employees he had, all, all kinds of things. And um, so rightfully so, he came out against the override and uh, the school people voted him out, but which is too bad because, you know, he really wanted to serve a one last term. Hmm. And I think that would have been a fitting way for him to go um, off the board. But, you know, he gave everything he had. So uh, it was a pleasure to serve with him. You know, looking back, he, he taught me a lot. You know, taught me a lot about town government, taught me a lot about, you know, representing a town. Uh, I grew up a lot during that time because I was a very young man when I got mm-hmm. off. Yeah, you were. Um, yeah. Matter of fact, when I got off, it's, well, I wasn't the youngest. I was the second youngest, maybe by like a year. Hmm. So, um, but I served, yeah. I served. After eight years, yeah. After nine years, yeah. So, um, so, so Dave also owned a local business in town? Yes, Ryan, and, uh, Ryan Insurance, uh, right downtown for the longest time, and uh, Agostinelli and Teller Insurance, which has moved to town. Uh, so the offices have merged, and they're out there on Front Street. Um, you know, so he's always in the center of everything. In the center of everything? Always in the center of everything. I mean, um, you'd walk into Sunnyside, he'd be holding court every, there, every morning yeah. with his friends. And... I give him credit, though. Um, one time when I was, uh, we were on the board together, was, I want to say it was like 2001, the town made international news. No, no okay. And Dave's downtown, and you know NBC, you know Dateline NBC is there, CBS, the, all the major networks are there. Tell the story. I mean about parked up. Well, there was uh, the story goes there was a, a, a woman in town who uh, they thought had passed away. So the police, are, yeah, <laughs> police and fire went up, and they brought they brought the the person's body to Matteris in a body bag. Four or five hours later, John Matteris goes down to uh, to start, you know, embalming the body. He unzips the he unzips the bag of the person. You know, the lady starts coughing, and it turns out she's alive. So, uh, and I remember hearing the story. She I was, still lives in town. Cool. She still lives in town, from what I from what I understand. So I remember the town manager telling me the story, and I'm like, oh boy. She, this time it gets out, this is going to be a, this is going to be a nightmare. Mm-hmm. Two nights later, I'm watching TV at 11 o'clock at night, and I see somebody from Channel 4 out in front of Town Hall. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> Can you imagine in today's world where oh. social media is the, what it would be like? Yep. The next morning, I went into Town Hall just to see, you know, Dex. I said, you know, how's it going? And it turns out he was on, a, uh, he was on the phone with a radio, uh, radio station in Ecuador or someplace. But, uh, yeah, but so Dave stayed away from the cameras. Which was very smart. Uh, as a matter of fact, during that time, they didn't interview the selectmen at all. Huh. Oh, they interviewed the fire chief, the police chief, maybe a couple of others, but you know, they, they left us out of it. Good. Thankfully. Good. So what else does the general public need to know about the legend Dave Teller? You know, Dave Teller, um, you know, he's 71 years old. Uh, loved golf. Mm-hmm. Golfed any chance he could get. Um, and you know, for his 50th birthday, his 50th birthday party we had at the old Legion Hall. And, um, I think Judy had commissioned a drawing of him taking a swing. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's a great drawing. Looks just like him. It's really, really nice. The only one thing is it's a full swing, but the ball's still between his feet. (laughs) Oh, to get Dave, I'd say Dave, you missed. You missed. But I'll say this, Dave, you know, Dave Teller, um, as many know, he suffered from Parkinson's disease mm-hmm. and for a long time, for 15 years. And um, one thing I will say is that, you know, um, he didn't, lo- in my mind, he did not lose his battle to Parkinson's disease. He beat Parkinson's disease by the way he lived. <laughs> the whole time he so, lived a full life. You know, he worked, he worked up until he couldn't. Um, he sold his business, and, you know, he still went to the Cape a lot with his family. Uh, he used to brag about his kids all the time, Jessica and um, Jennifer, Jessica, and Matt. He used to <laughs> brag about them all the time. Uh, but he lived, a li- he lived his life to the fullest. And, uh, you know, and I'm very proud to have known him and proud to call him my friend. And I'm very proud of the way he fought and fought and fought and lived his life. And that should be an inspiration to anybody.
I agree. And you brought up Judy, his wife, behind every great man is a great woman. Judy, yeah. Judy is a legendary in the town of Ashland as well. Yes, Judy, yeah. yeah. Dave and Judy were married, I want to say around 1999, 2000. They were married about 25 years. Um, great lady. Um, a lot of grace. Uh, very caring person, and um, you know, it just my heart goes out to her. Yeah, I mean, you would inform me. Unfortunately, it was passing, and uh, it was it literally sent chills down my spine because, as you said, you know, we knew that he wasn't well, but uh, we didn't think that this was going to happen. So, I mean, uh, that's why I thought it was important that we get together tonight. And uh, unless you have any closing thoughts, oh, you know, I just um, you know just hope that. From, Family just continues to heal. Um, you know, got you know, got to you know, talk to a little, a little bit at the wake. Um, you know, great three great kids, uh, you know, great family. You know, he's going to be missed. Yeah, he's you know? going to be missed. You know, if you drive by us. You know, if you if you drive by where he lives, or if you drive by um, Agustinelli and Teller Insurance, it's different now. It's you know, right? It's just different. It's just different. So on this special edition of All Politics is Local, we'll just end with All Politics Local with everybody just observing a moment of silence for the great Dave Teller. You've been watching All Politics is Local here on WACA TV, and we will be back again with another episode shortly.